and this thing happens, right? What I'm saying is this. This thing don't need to go no further into the toilet than it already has, in my opinion. So first people start calling and trying to get people's children removed from their home as if they can call CPS on people and they're going to they're going to know the end result. In other words, after they've called these people and sending white folks over to your house, you just assume that that's going to be it. I just called a CPS on you and that's it, right? What if it goes further than that? What if when the, when the CPS people show up, the, the, the husband and wife or the parents are fighting? Or what if they're smoking weed? What if they're doing something and the children are actually removed from the house, Right? What do people just accept that and move on? They want to call your jobs. They want to see you unemployed. So they want to say things. Uh, they, they want to say things to your employer that will embarrass you on your job. But what if it, it goes farther than that? What if you're already on probation on your job? What if your job has a clause in it, moral clauses in it, right? And now you got uh, people calling your job to report that you're doing things shouldn't be doing are they directing them to your youtube channel to involve them in what you do on youtube correct so my point is doxing docs 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 what happens people when doxing is no longer entertaining in other words you'd already been called cps you already didn't call people's job you've already called somebody to lose their apartment you've already called social security you've already called everybody that can be called you've done it and it becomes redundant and old what happens after that is that what we're experiencing now people are tired of doxing it's no longer exciting so now they're pulling up you know good goddamn well that is not controllable honey you have no idea how you're going to react